Another beautiful day in Las Vegas, Nevada. But we won't be doing any gambling in the casinos today, no. Instead, I'm going to show you a different side of Vegas. A more natural side. Today, we're going to the Springs Preserve. The preserve features museums, galleries, outdoor concerts and events, colorful botanic gardens, and a trail system that meanders through a scenic wetland habitat. Even though the preserve is located only three miles from downtown Vegas, it's a natural wonderland and a welcome distraction from all of the noise, smoke, and the annoying drunk crowds on the strip. They have bike rentals and train rides. Okay, it's not a real train, it's one of these things, but it's still fun. Here's an interesting contrast. Off in the distance, you see the casinos, and right in front of us, the natural beauty of the Nevada desert. This is the trail portion of the park. The trail is actually over two miles long, and along the way, there are plenty of these informative signs telling you all about the history and the features of the region. As you walk along, you get to see some of the natural beauty the desert has to offer. Here's my favorite, the Joshua Tree. You can get an up-close and personal view of these characters. Look at this sign. I had no idea there were so many different types of natural vegetation in the desert. It really is beautiful and peaceful out here. What's this? Boomtown 1905 and Waterworks? Oh, we gotta check that out. This area is pretty interesting. It's a little boomtown, straight out of the past, that you can wander around in, go inside of buildings and explore, and see things the way that they used to be. Inside of each building, they have fun and educational displays that you can interact with and walk around and learn more about the history of the region and the way people used to live. Although sometimes things weren't all that different. For example, Levi's? Hey, those are still popular. I had no idea, but Sin City started with this little neighborhood, Block 16. Here comes the train. This train depot has a lot of cool displays to see also. Here's something you don't think about. We made it to Vegas in about five hours, but on a horse it would have taken almost 21 hours. Wow. The first instant message. This is kind of cool. They have an actual old time telegraph that you can interact with. Subscribe to Vlognosis. The railroad cottages are set up inside just the way they were over a hundred years ago. It's interesting to see the differences of how people used to live compared to our modern day luxuries and conveniences. It was definitely more of a basic existence then. But wait, there's more to the Springs Preserve. We haven't even touched on the botanical garden section yet. 
This part of the park is absolutely beautiful. Very peaceful and calming. Full of natural beauty. I would much rather spend my days here than inside of a casino, losing every dollar I have in the bank. It's very refreshing to get up close and personal with natural beauty. And I like how the plants have uh, these little signs that help you identify and learn more about each species. Cacti are actually very beautiful up close. Just don't touch them. <laughs> if you visit the springs at the right time of year, this building is actually a butterfly experience. You can walk inside and hang out with a ton of amazing butterflies. If that's a must see, I recommend checking their website and seeing when this exhibit will be open during your visit. But wait, there's even more! This is just one of the many indoor museums here at the Springs Preserve. Full of interesting exhibits to walk around and interact with. This exhibit is cool. It's a recreation of a real flash flood. If you keep exploring, you'll eventually stumble upon this desert wildlife area. It's full of all sorts of creatures. Ants, reptiles, vermin.
What's this? There's even more? Wow, we're running short on time today, but there's actually also a really well done museum with a plethora of amazing artifacts and exhibits all about the history of Nevada. If you visit the Springs Preserve, I recommend setting aside a few hours. There's just so much to see and do here. I couldn't even cover it all in one little vlog. But that's all the time we have for today. I hope you enjoyed seeing a different side of this town, and do stay tuned for more videos from Las Vegas, Nevada.